I have an idea, kids. It's an idea. I make a damn good meatloaf. I mean a damn good meatloaf. And I thought, why not cook meatloaf? Make a video. So, yeah, it's a combination of a recipe that I made up in my 20s and a recipe that my mom used to make. And it's just this really killer meatloaf. So let me show you how to do it. We got two thirds of a cup of cremini mushrooms. We have about two thirds of a cup each of celery and grated carrot. We have a half a cup of red bell pepper. And about two thirds of a cup of chopped green onion. We're also going to use a cup and a half of regular oatmeal and two eggs. You're also going to need a big old humongous bowl and some ketchup and some barbecue sauce. Yeah, I know my bottles of ketchup and barbecue sauce look funky. Deal with it. In the, um, in the big bowl, I've put a pound of lean, extra lean ground pork and two pounds of 80% um, ground beef. Into this ground beef, I'm going to crack my two eggs. up to the cup mark. Yes. Okay, bring that up to the cup. Close enough. I'm gonna do this the fun way. It's really fun. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna start mushing this up a little bit just to get a head start on it. to get your hands in it. There's just no other way. If you wash your hands, it's nice, but you got to do it. Okay, so I got that kind of mixed in there a little bit. this time so yeah that's it's too wet if it's too wet add oatmeal that's what I always say Can I put it away I put it away all right so what did I tell you before I told you a cup and a half wow we probably need another cup and a half I'm not kidding um shoot I really want to measure this for you so you know all right, I have a third cup measure that isn't all messed up. All right, so let's see how much more we need. One third, two thirds, three thirds, 
four thirds. Five thirds. That's about another cup and a half, which is all the oatmeal I have, so it better work. I think it's all the oatmeal I have. Ew, don't jump out of the bowl. Oh, shoot, I forgot the mushrooms. Oh, that's okay. Put them in in a minute. Yeah, this is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You can always add breadcrumbs, too, which I might actually throw a few in there. so much fun we're making meat meat stuff I apologize to any vegetarians that might be offended by this let's rinse off one more time throw in the mushrooms <coughs> the mushrooms I guess are going to absorb a little bit of that now it's still it's still a little wet so, up here I have, ugh, bread crumbs. So, in addition to the three cups total of oatmeal, we're going to add two thirds of a cup of bread crumbs. How's that? That sounds, that sounds good. I think it sounds great. One more dive in here with my hands. Yeah, that's from the, oh my god. I dropped meat on the floor. I just squeeze it between your fingers so you're really positive that all the ingredients are well distributed. Well, well, well distributed. And then go up to the camera and show everybody how greasy gross your hands are. Alright, there we go. There's our meatloaf. Now we need bread pan. Okay, now my bread pan. Oh boy. I got enough meatloaf here for two of these. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375. Yeah. Meatloaf video? Giant meatloaf. There's a giant meatloaf. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. I'm poking my fingers down the center of the meatloaf to make a trough for my special sauce. I put all my special sauce in the meatloaf. Hey, I, I emptied it, but there's still good stuff in there. Uh, in my freaking way. I'm uh, sorry. Okay, so all of that hoopla that I just did, okay, I always put like a diluted barbecue sauce on top in a little trough, like, see, I make a little trough, and then I put barbecue sauce in there. Well, I had used up all my barbecue sauce in the meatloaf, so... I just put a little water in the bottle, got some more barbecue sauce out of there and put that on. Then I took a little French's mustard and just drizzled it diagonally in little stripes on the top. And then absentmindedly, because I was paying attention to my roommate, I spread the mustard. It doesn't really matter, but now it's not as pretty, so whatever. And it's going in the oven. Wait, is this on? Yay! It's 
Seriously, my roommate, my husband came in, they saw that, and homemade mashed potatoes, and they said, we're going for it, so, yeah, and even with the three of us, and both guys weigh about 200 pounds, one's probably a little more, and me, and we only ate half of it, so, goody goody leftovers, yay, um, so thanks for watching. Now you know how to make my magnificent meatloaf. If you ever get a crazy hair up your butt, you want to do that. All right. Thanks. See you guys later. Bye.